government yellow paint. I think we can probably leave the rest of that. What the? Well, all I have to say is that it's a good thing we got that explosion resistance. Welcome back, everybody, to Pacific Drive. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to have to go back out uh, to the Deep Zone once again uh, to gather even more Olympium, but also um, we need to... I need to figure out how to get bombs. I have looted bombs before, um, but I don't know exactly where or how I got them, but in order for us to make the limb chip engine, which is the best engine in the game, 304 horsepower engine, we have to have... Um, we have to have, uh, oh, I'm sorry, not bombs, but explosives. I mean, you know, the little icon looks like a bomb, right? Uh, so we have to find six more of these to make that engine. Um, so, and, and unfortunately, our amp engine now has a status effect of weary, uh, which obviously means it's going to be less reliable and break down more and have more status effects. Um, if we look at the amp engine's cost... Um, the only, the only thing is, that's really expensive on this is the swamp coral. But on the other hand, if, if we grind down the current one, we'll get a bunch of swamp coral back to help go towards a new engine. But, you know, as dangerous as the deep zone is, I, I, we have to have a reliable engine. I mean, everything on this car has to be reliable. <laughs> um, I did do another off camera run into the deep zone and I got some more, uh, a few more magnets and some more Olympium. I decided not to show that run on camera, though, because, I mean, it was the deep zone. It was dangerous. But I just went and got, you know, more Olympium. So we have a total of 65 Olympium. Got a few more magnets, too. So we have uh, 69, uh, right? Yeah, 69 magnets. Um, and just these these four bombs. So um, then, yeah, so I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to take this engine here out and we're going to grind it down and we will get a very large portion of the resources back from this one to go towards making a new one okay so while that's all doing its thing let's shut this thing up hold on i think there's a cat in my keyboard no i said that right in my keyboard well in this game that very possibly could be the case um so yeah it's just gonna it looks like it's gonna spit out a whole mess of Swamp Pearl, which is great. It's exactly what we want it to do. And this is going to take a while, too. But it should. This is a very, very expensive component. So let's let that do its thing. Um, the other thing, too, is that my resource radar uh, also got a permanent uh, status effect the last time I went out. So I think it, maybe it was a little older than I thought it was. So the question there is, do we want to replace it. I mean, it's it's pretty damn useful. It really is. Um, Olympium, I mean, Olympium's pretty easy to spot now that I know what to look for, but it's not easy to spot if it's like around the corner or over the side of a hill, whereas the scanner will help find it. So I think we should probably just keep running uh, with that for, for now. Um, so, look at it, it's still going. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll be curious to see how much Swamp Pearl we actually get back out of that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and make ourselves another, um, scanner. So that is the resource radar. Not too terribly expensive in the grand scheme of things. We can certainly afford it. And we'll put that new one on place. Cars all, has been all repaired since I pulled in. I do need to... You're still going at it. My goodness. Um, I need to... Pro what I'm probably going to do is make another set of tires. Because uh, we these were the new tires that we made in the last episode. And then keep swapping them out um, and using this to repair the, the tires that we leave here. Uh, let's also grab uh, each one of these guys too. And we'll swap them out. What is this? This is the limb pulse. Now these ones that I'm that I pulled out of here... 
I don't I don't remember how old they are, so they could be uh there's the limb shield. This could be the last run for them because I think I may have had them on for a while, but the ones that I'm putting in here have only been out on one run, so they should last uh you know last us a little bit longer. Let's turn and put those in there. Okay, so it looks like this is finished. Let's go ahead and see how much coral we actually got back out of that. I'm mostly inter uh, interested in the cor coral because that's the most expensive thing. All right, so we got one, two, three. So that's, that's 240 right there. Plus 66, that's 306. How much does it take to make one of those? An amp engine? 360. So yeah, we got back a huge percentage of that swamp coral. Very nice. Okay. So, you know, remaking this engine is not going to really be all that expensive after all. Let's just grab all that stuff. We'll just keep it right in our inventory. And we will make a new amp engine. There we go. Brand spanking new. Recycled. Probably about 85. We got, I, I don't know. I, we got 80 to 85%, I would say, back. Maybe even 90% of our coral. Um, which is a super nice return. I'll take it. I will take it. We need to heal up here, too. Uh, all right. So the last thing to do is just swap out the, the tires. Uh, I think it's tree candy that's the big deal with this. Uh, or more specifically, carbon fiberglass. So we're going to need to make f four of those. Um, and, oh yeah, we, we've got plenty. So I need to make a total of eight carbon fiberglass to make four tires. Where did the other tire go? I made four, didn't I? Oh, did I stick it in here? Yeah, I must have accidentally stuck it in there. Okay. I was going to say, what the hell, man? Okay, so swap these two out. Very good. Okay. So our panels have only been on the one trip, uh, so they're fairly new. And um, the oh, by the way, these mini turbines actually work very well. Um, if I'm going full speed down the road, uh, they actually uh, give me a positive charge. Uh, so if I, you know, if I'm like on a long highway trip, um, it's adding electricity to the batteries instead of taking away. Uh, but even you know, even without that, they, having the four of those running, basically, you know, what it boils down to is it is it keeps my batteries charged a lot longer before I have to recharge them. Uh, so that, and I don't have to worry about them, you know, getting the swollen effect or leaking and then causing all kinds of other problems with the rest of the car, uh, too. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this setup as long as we stick with the amp engine. Now, of course, you know, once we move to the, the end game engine, the 300 and some odd horse, and go back to gasoline, then we'll have to reassess what, you know, what the best thing is to put in the side racks. But for now, uh, that's good. Okay, so let's make sure we have all of the stuff that we need for the next trip. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna melt down all three of this one's borderline, but I just want to have two solid tools with us uh, when we go into the zone. So, uh, and since I have the resources, yeah, we're gonna melt all three of these down and make new ones. But again, we can reuse a lot of their resources uh, to help compensate for that. Okay, so let's make a magnetic hammer, a thermal vac, and a plasma scrapper. Very good. Okay, we'll pick all this stuff back up and add it back to the, the pile. We have one uh, plasma charger, so I want two of those. 
the Olympian torch lasts pretty long. So I think what I'll do with that is I think I'll just make a backup normal torch. Because I want to, you know, we there's still a few important things we need Olympium for. And uh, the backup torches work pretty damn good too. And they're way cheaper. All right, so we have a backup impact hammer, a backup scrapper, a backup vac. We have two stacks of, actually a little bit more than two stacks of medical, which is fine. Spare tire, scanner thingy, which I very, very rarely use, but have used. And two chargers, two torches. We still have the liberator if we need it. So I think we got, oh, uh, let's make another mechanics kit and at least one more ceiling kit. Maybe even a couple more because ceiling kits we use a lot. Definitely more than anything else. So let's actually make maybe three more of those and then we'll make one more mechanics kit. And we'll sort that. Okay, so that gives us a total of five ceiling kits. That should be good. And I think we are well equipped and ready to get the hell out of Dodge. Um, do we have any quirks? Let's take a look. We have one quirk. I don't have any idea what it is, but we better figure it out. Um, okay, so... I'm just trying to think if I noticed anything. Yeah, I don't know. These Olympian panels look so badass. Okay, yeah, uh, let's just... Let's just use hints. We might as well. Okay, what is it based on? Okay, there's something wrong with the steering wheel. Let's see what the second hint tells us. It goes left. When the wipers... Alright, let's see if we can figure out... Let's see if we can figure out the last... The last one without burning more Kalen. Not that I don't have enough Kalen, but... Okay, so... I think... I think the game calls that wobbling. I call it getting stuck, but the game calls it wobbling. Uh, at least the last couple of times, you know, that I've seen that happen. Steering wheel goes left. Wipers. Wobbles. Very good. Okay, and to fix, we need a mechanics kit. All done. Okay, so that takes care of that. And, um, all right, so let's just look at where we're at in terms of the Olympium itself. Uh, the next thing we're we're pushing for is the engine, uh, but that's not the last thing. We still got a, a couple other things too. So, right now, do we have enough Olympium to make three more limb chips so we can just queue those up and have them ready? I believe we do. Uh, limb chips. Oh yeah, we definitely do. Okay, let's make three more of these. And I have a fourth limb chip already. Uh, sitting in here. So that gives us the four limb chips that we need for the engine. So if we go back to here now. So the only thing that's holding us up now is these explosives. And so that's going to be one of the main things we're going to look look for when we go back to the deep zone. Is to try and figure out where the hell we get those. Now I wonder if I blow up. If I blow up the tour buses. Which are you know kind of like that amalgamation of tourists. If that drops some of the explosives it would seem to me like that's a possibility just because um you know those things blow up i don't know let's make ourselves a flare gun so we can maybe even a couple of them uh, and we'll use these to shoot those guys and we'll just see what happens actually i'll keep the flare gun in my inventory 
Very good. All right. Now, um, let me look at something. Okay, I could actually make this radiation suit now because we don't need any more Olympium for the engine. But the other thing I really want to do, though, is get the better workbench for the car. And we can do that now. We just need a couple circuit boards. Okay, no, that is definitely what we're going to do next. Just make ourselves a couple circuit boards. All right, I've been waiting for this one for a while, too. So we'll go back to here. Plus, it's going to unlock some of these other things. Here we go. A mobile workbench. Nice. Haha, <laughs> look at that thing. All right. Um, this is a, a tier two crafting bench. Um, so that's going to allow us to make more things, obviously, out in the field. I don't know. Do we ever get a chance to get a tier three? Probably not. So really high end things like, you know, the, uh, the hammer and stuff we're not going to be able to make. But it's going to certainly, you know, help us uh, or allow us to make more things than we were able to make before. So that's kind of the point. All right. Nice. Look at that thing floating in there. That is just cool. All right. Now, um, let's go back to here. When we get the engine, the next thing I'm going to be gunning for is this. The anti-grav emitter and the time dilation thingy. But there's I don't want to get these yet because I'm not giving up the XL roof battery while we continue to use the amp engine. Um, plus the fact that these will use limb chips and we're, you know, the current limb chips that we have, we're saving. So can we still make the... Nope. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't do the radiation shoot. We could do anti-static gloves, blocks, electrical shocks. Sure. Okay. Um, insulated jumpsuit. Electrical resist, 45%. Olympium shirt. Explosion resist, 45 Uh, That would be really useful in the deep zone. Anti-theft. This tightly sealed back will prevent anyone or anything from stealing your things. Like to have that too. 45% explosion resist is huge. Let's make it. Um, and we can still do the insulated? Sure, why the hell not? 45% <laughs> electrical resist. Okay. All right, so we just improved ourselves, too. Self-improvement is a good thing. Always a good thing. All right, let's see here. Is there anything else we want to do? Oh, I did find a rally steering wheel, and I already installed it. Looks cool. I love it. I, I still, this is still my favorite stick shifter, by the way. Um, I don't know. Have we gotten a new hood ornament? We haven't looked at that for a bit. If we go to, yeah, here... We haven't. Okay. Um. I kind of like I like the bartender. Let's put the bartender back on. Do we have anything new for hanging down the mirror? We got the blimp, the crystal. Nope. Uh, like I said, we have the rally steering wheel installed, which is awesome. For the stick shifter, I don't really like that, so we're not going to install that. And we currently have the pirate ship on our hood, which I think we'll keep. I like that. And let's go back to the surfboard for our antenna decoration. I don't believe we've received any new stickers. So I think we're good to go there. Fantastic. All right, let's take a look and see what we got going on here. Um, we want to get to... Red Spire Zone. Oh my god, look at the amount of power in that zone. It's like almost maxed, or is maxed. But there's no time to grab it. Of course there isn't. You're going to ha have an almost instantaneous instability storm as soon as you enter the place. 
Oh, that sucks. Um, it is a Red Spires place, too. That's a smokestack. That's a smokestack. Smokestack. Red Spire. So we could... We could take this route and hit um, A7 here for Red Spire. We've got a, we'd have a little bit of time to find some Olympium. Not a whole lot. Um, even though this junction is a Red Spire junction, I've been in it a few times now. Well, two times, I think. And I, I haven't been able to find Olympium anywhere, even though it supposedly is there. Uh, because, uh, it might have something to do with the fact that it's the, the mission zone. But you can go there and then leave it again without activating the mission. Because I'm not ready to do that. Um, at a minimum, I want to have our new engine before we do that. Just because um, there's kind of like a, a race circuit thing involved in this. So I want to have the best engine uh, when we do that. So I think what we do is probably take this route. And we'll just grab as many, um, uh, as much Olympium as we can here. And then we'll, we'll have to exit to here. And then, and then I guess this will have to be our destination to come back out. I wish they gave us more red spires, though. So, yeah, I think that's our best plan. All right. So we'll activate you. We have a, we will have a decent amount of, of power in this zone and a fair amount of time as well. You know what we could do? We could re-roll this and see if we get better time, more time to spend. Um... Exhausting explosions suck, too. I don't like that. Let's re-roll this and see what happens. Okay, so the time and the amount of power doesn't change. Eerie darkness isn't terrible. Mm, let's try it again. Nope, don't like that. I don't know how many times we can re-roll. Meteorite medley's not super bad it's not oh that's it okay well that's what we get um yeah a, a meteorite whoops a meteorite medley's it, it's bad but it's not the worst thing that can happen to us uh, unless one of them falls on our head of course <laughs> okay so we have a little bit of time in this zone to grab some olympium not a ton but a little bit and we're gonna have a lot of power in this zone so i don't think i'm gonna spend a whole lot of time you know, trying to get anchors on the way there. I think we're just going to scooch all the way there and get, you know, spend as much time in this zone as we can getting as much Olympium as we can. And uh, we'll just kind of go up through here. Yeah, I'm not going to spend a lot of time in those places. Now, do I want to also bring some, let's see, how, how are we doing on magnets? We have 68. Yeah, why don't we bring some scrap metal with us? Uh, because the magnet places seem to be, you know, fairly abundant. And uh, we'll just bring back... Let's take, like, maybe four stacks of scrap metal with us. And we'll bring back a few magnets uh, while we're at it. And uh, our other objective, of course, is to try and figure out how, how, how the hell we get explosives. Um, so we'll have to be looking out for that, too. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Are we ready? I think we're ready. While well, I'm thinking about it, let's get this stuff this set up right now. Uh, that's the arc dock. We'll keep that there. This should be control. Yeah, that's limb pulse emitter. This is where I've been keeping the limb shield. And this is where I keep the, the resource radar. Okay, good. Got that. Take care. Let's go. Yeah, if you look at my little red power in the upper left-hand corner, you'll notice it's actually starting to 
going back in the positive once we get you know pick up speed we want to go through here right yeah that's where we want to go that means we got to go through e7 actually though could we go to d1 and then I'll bet you we could cross over from D1 into there. I mean, I just really don't care about spending a lot of time in the lower zone. So, yeah, why don't we do that? Let's go here. We will grab anchor power if it's easy to get. If it's way off in the other end of the map and out of our direction of travel, I'm not going to bother with it. Let's do this. Yeah, so look at our power. It's actually recharging even even though we're uh, you know using the power, we're getting more than we're using. But you have to be going, you know, pretty much almost at top speed for that to to work. Nevertheless, having four turbines on here makes a big difference in you know um, our our power lasting longer. We have an investigator here. Let's stop and investigate always stop for those if they're along the way anyway that's a steel panel let's grind that oh that gave us steel sheets I don't really need those actually because it's scrap that we need for the magnet so I'm just going to leave that Got to check the doors on that or see if they were armored but that's okay we have lots and lots of thermal crystals now once you hit the mid zone and especially once you get the tier 2 impact hammer you'll never run out of crystals again okay another highway zone we're just going to move right on through And we're out. No incidents. Even with my headlights and wipers on, if I could sustain high speed, it still got me all the way back to the top, which is awesome. Okay, um, let's see. This is close enough to the exit, we might as well grab it. Um, so let's mark that, and we're just going to go down the road and get to it. This, something's moving, eerie darkness, and something else. Uh, nope, we're ready to go. Let's do this. We no longer have our radiation thingy, but we'll just have to make the best of it. not hit those guys if we can avoid it. I also want to stay away from that dude. Uh, and my lights just went off for some inexplicable reason. It's probably one of those anomalies that did that. Turn right. Bubblegum is going to grab us a little bit. Get off me. There is the first power node. Anchor. just right over there. We might as well grab it since it's so close by. Uh, 
Um, spread the needle right between these guys. We have very good explosion resistance on our vehicle, but that doesn't mean I want to delivery, deliberately take explosion damage. Ooh, that's a tight squeeze. Creeps. Creepy guys. Alright, we need to go uh, basically just get on the road and head on out of town. Let's do it. Oh, shit. Gave us 2.4 Kalim. We only need four to jump out when we're all set. What was that? Looked like there was a big spider web on the ground. If that's a new anomaly, we need to we need to scan it. Uh, I'm at full health, and we have 40% radiation protection now. It looked like a big spider web that kind of just... Am I just seeing things? Am I hallucinating in this game? I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to go back and look at the video, but... It's like a big spider web just kind of came down over the ground. At least that's what my eyes told me I saw. I'm not even drunk either. I like the art of thingy. So let's take this and put it there. Uh, oh, that isn't going to work. Um, here, put this here. Not so sure I'm a fan of, fan of the flower thingy. I know that's supposed to be Scooby-Doo, but yeah, that's not really a fan of that. It is kind of cool, but it's not me. And that's okay. I'm okay with that, and you need to be okay with that. Uh, since we're stopped, and since there's this guy up here, we might as well check it. Because why the hell not? Yikes. You guys are killing me. Uh, what is this? The potato cup. Ah, uh, shit. We need that. Um, we can get rid of that flare. Well, we don't need it, but you know what I mean. And I think government yellow paint. I think we can probably leave the rest of that. What the? Did you steal stuff from me? No, they just have plastic. Well, all I have to say is that it's a good thing we got that explosion resistance. I mean, I don't think that would have killed us, but it would have done a hell of a lot more damage than it did. And also, I need to remember to put stuff away so it doesn't get stuck in my inventory while we're away from the car. What do you think about that? You think that's a good idea? I think that's a good idea. All right, let's get the hell out of here. And we're out. All right, so... This is the zone we want to spend the most time in. I'm not going to worry too much about getting anchor power unless it's really easy to get. Um, we just need to try and figure out how to get explosives and get as much Olympium as we can. And maybe a couple magnets along the way. We don't have a ton of time, but we have some time. Let's do it. Okay, I had to uh, go AFK for just a second. Uh, so the only thing we have to worry about is Meteorite Medley, though that's uh, bad enough. And the cool thing is that the power is right on the road, so uh, that is good. All right, 
let's start scanning here and looking for Olympium and trying to figure out how in the frick we get explosives. Um, the only time I've, you know, got, like I said, gotten explosives is when I looted it. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna blow these guys up and see if that, uh, that does anything. Right, okay. Did that drop explosives? Didn't seem to. All right. I want to keep our car away from the left and right there. Let's check the trunk. Maybe we'll find some in the trunk here. And yeah, we might as well take the scrap metal too. No, no explosives. Okay. Just looking to see if I can spot any Olympian. But I'm not seeing it. All right, let's go. Whoa! Okay. Um, let's check the trunk of this one. Oh, look at that! Okay, we got one. So maybe it's it's just something we find in potentially in any loot container in the zone. I guess that's what what it is. Okay. So that means we need to loot the shit out of everything. Let's go. Stay away from the left and right. You know how much I hate those damn things. So much of that stuff. Right, I'm just trying to look and see if I can spot some Olympium while we're here. It's fairly easy to spot if it's in visual range. We're basically looking for, you know, this kind of weird shit, but it's purple. All right, I'm not seeing it, so let's let's go. We don't have a lot of time here. That uh, dumpster pearl could have some explosives in it. Uh, let's see if we can get around the left and right this way. If a, if a vehicle has a trunk, we should check it. Yes, I know I am standing in radiation, but it is what it is. We have 40% resistance to it. there. Oh, damn. Settle down, zone. This place is bonkers. 
Okay, possible that we could find some in the investigator here. No, but we have some Olympium and some other stuff. Uh, let's just leave the steel panel. I'm not worried about it. I know we could get a little more scrap, but... It's nasty right here. Let's give ourselves a little bit of limb doctor action here. Okay, that's enough. We'll use all oh all of our power up. Golly, Miss Molly. Have a trunk here that we can check. Let's also do a squirt. Okay, there is a magnetizer thingy over there, but I'm not spotting any Olympium. Oh, Lord Almighty! All right, that didn't. Uh, that wasn't directly on our car. Those things should drop explosives. If you ask me. All right, let's grab all of the scrap that we have and we'll go directly to that magnet machine. Well, direct being a relative term. We can't like go through one of those pillars, obviously. Stay away from the left and right. Turn my lights off, but I'll keep the engine running. All right, here we go. Let's get a shit ton of magnets. Twenty-six. That's pretty decent. Let's motor. Let's motivate. Um, this is where we're gonna go get the power, but it's oh, look at that. We've got a repair station right down the road. Beautiful. Take it. I love those things. I especially love that one of them sitting in my garage. That repair station should be just over here. Yeah, there it is. That's kind of odd. It's right over this little pipe thing. Hopefully, we can get we can get in there. Yeah. Okay, we're good. All right. So let's let that repair us up. There's quite a few buildings we could check for explosives. Um, okay, good. I think we'll maybe that's what we'll do. Let's go. Oh, there's some Olympium. Okay, cool. to at least be able to take a little bit of this with us. Uh, is that it? Yeah, I guess so. Another squirt. Okay, storm's coming, but we are 
in pretty good position, so I'm not too concerned about it. Of course, we will keep our eye out, open on it. Eyes open. Let's see if I can avoid these guys. There we go. Piss off. All right. Let's uh let's back up to about here. We're going to loot these buildings as quickly as possible and then I'll grab the uh, I'll grab the power right before we leave. I guess I could have backed up a little more, but is what it is. I hope none of these guys want a frickin' uh, electrician's kit. Let's bring this out. No, not that. Go here, turn it on, drop it down. You'd think we'd be able to find the explosives in the cabinet with the chemicals and stuff. Nope, no explosives there. I don't know, is this the best way to find... Ooh, that's nice. Uh, the best way to find this stuff. Let me know in the comments, guys, if there's a, a better way to do this. But, like I said, the only place that I have found explosives is in containers. Alright, I think that's it. We've got a building over there and a couple of trunks we can check. Yes, I know I can use my crowbar, but if I do this, I can also get a little bit of scrap metal. So there you go. And other stuff, too. Nope. No moss. Right, let's go run over here. Stay away from you and your buddy there. Set you down. Um, I don't think I'm going to scrap that stuff because we're really just looking for explosives primarily here. Uh, nope, I'm not doing that. Go. Oh shit. Okay. We'll check this building and then we gotta get moving because that storm's probably getting pretty damn close. I'm gonna leave the plasma this time. Normally I wouldn't, but this time we will. Chemical. Oh shit, there's no containers to loot up here. Not a single one. Well, that has anything in it. Alright, well, we tried. Maybe we can, um. We'll have some more opportunity in, in the, uh, the next zone to look for explosives. Stop it. Knock it off. Oh. All right, how's the storm looking? Oh, actually, it's still quite a ways away. But I'm not I'm not going back. And we're just about out, so I think we're just gonna vomitos. Any chance we could find one more Olympium deposit before we split?
Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, well, this wasn't the most profitable run, but it wasn't terrible either. Good news is the car isn't all beat to shit, so always something to be thankful for, right? So what we have to do is go to this zone. Uh, there's not really any reason to go there. And this again, this is the mission zone, so it's there's not a lot there. Um, we can make, we could make some more magnets. I have not been able to find any Olympium at all in the zone. And we might be able to find some more explosives too. So that's what we'll look for. And we'll just kind of take our time because I don't think we need to worry about an instability storm here. Francis will remind us about the race, but we don't have to do it right this moment. Get the arc device charged, driver. Or Oppy. Um, alright, so let's just check every th single thing we can loot. Even if that's the trunk of a car. You know what? Let's use this to touch things up since we got it for free. Looks like our hood needs a little bit of TLC. Um, uh, this panel. Let's touch up our limb shield. That door needs a little TLC. How are you guys looking? Uh, you're looking pretty good. Limpulse. Yeah, the car is in actually really good shape, all things considered. Just use the rest of this torch up. We might as well, since, like I said, we got it for free. There we go. All right. Nice. We have enough anchor power to do a gateway out when we're done, so we got that covered. Let's try this squire over here. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm gonna mess around with the the armored panels unless they're nah. Let's not even mess with it. Let's just go. We could, but. We're in pretty good shape for now on that stuff. Okay, chance for some explosives in this box truck. It's a lot of shit, but not what we're looking for. All right, I'll take that. Oh, another blowtorch. Okay, we'll take that. Um, let's put this here. That there. And I don't really care about the rest of that stuff. Not that big a deal. Let's eat both of these MREs because we need a little bit of healing and it'll free us up a slot. Actually, four slots. that dresser again. No explosives, but it does have cloth. Cloth is something that I wouldn't say I have an abundance of. We've had, for the most part, we've had an adequate amount of it, but not an abundance of it. Okay, I don't want to go that way because that'll probably activate the quest. Uh, so let's go down this direction.
is that? Oh, I think that's part of this business here. I think that's the thing that'll zap the gateway. You know, as we're going down the circuit, I believe. I believe, I believe. Why don't we go down this road here? Uh, wait. Is there a road here? Yeah, there it is. Okay, there's uh, one of those thing guys that we can loot. Come on, explosives. Damage him. I uh, don't care about burnt orange or beige paint, and I don't think I'm going to grab those light bulbs. Not this time. Have to think about charging our batteries back up here fairly soon. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Hmm. <coughs> Sounded like a bubble gum. Hey, look at this. Olympium. Nice. This is the first Olympium I found in this zone. But you know what? I don't I don't think I've really gone down in this valley before. I've stayed up on the road, so that's a very likely part of it. Okay, is that all of it? Uh, we got some over here too, nice. Something messing with the car? I don't think so. And we also have an investigator. Let's grab one of those. Okay, good. Uh, it's very good to know that we can find Olympium in this zone because uh, I think he's going to stay away from it. Because uh, this zone is very gentle <laughs> by way of comparison. Explosives! Yes! Not enough, but a step in the right direction. Uh, let's put you here. And you here, and you here, and we'll leave the crude panel. Okay, good. So we're getting close. I think we needed a total of six more, if I remember right. And uh, we're getting very close. So let's do a sort here. And uh, explosives. We have. We only have two. I thought, we, I thought we found more than that, but apparently not. Okay. Well, maybe we'll luck out in the dumpster pearls. We'll have them in there. All right, guys. Um, I, uh, I'm back. I had to go AFK for a bit in real life. And yeah. Um, all right. I think what I'm going to do is... Let's see, what are we... I think what I'm going to do is just kind of drive around in this valley and see if I can find a little bit more Olympium. Um, and then get the hell out of here. Uh, we got another mag magnet thingy over there. 
maybe see if I can uh, find. Oh, what? Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. What the hell is that? That's new. Is that an explosives cache? <laughs> that is awesome. I had no idea this was here. Oh, nice. Oh. Wait a minute. How do I loot it? Uh, do, can I not loot this? Do I throw it? Oh, I didn't know I could pick those things up. How do you get the... How do you get the explosives out of them? If I press E... Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. You don't pick it up, you... Loot it that way. Interesting. Okay, well, the good thing is, even though I just wasted that one explosive, at least now I kind of figured that out. So we scan those just like any other resource. Uh, oh, look at that. There's more Olympium over there, too. Okay, well, anyway, I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna just kind of drive around this valley... Um, see if I can find some more explosives. If we just found some more Olympium, grab that. And then head back to the base. And the plan for the next episode will be to make our engine. And once we do that, I think we'll go ahead and resume the missions. And, you know, I've mentioned this, I think, to you guys before. But I don't know how, um, how much more... Uh, we have left after we do this next mission. I, I, I suspect we, we're probably getting pretty close to the end of the the road. Um, no pun intended, right? Uh, but we'll, you know, we'll see we'll see what happens and go from there. So, uh, wow, there's there's actually a hell of a lot more Olympium down here than I realized. This is good because this is a very nice, relatively, you know, gentle zone to pick that stuff up in. Um, so, yeah, with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.